As you may know, Blender is getting popular among 3D animators. So in today's video, I brought you guys the best add-ons for character animation. New add-ons that came out this year, and existing add-ons that got better with new updates. But before we continue, I want to let you guys know that the Super Hive Market is having a sale right now with discounts on thousands of products, including add-ons, procedural geometry note tools, courses, material packs, you name it. And if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of some of the best add-ons and courses out there. Without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with Face It, which I believe is the best add-on for facial rigging and animation in Blender. Even though it has been around for years, it is continuously updated. So the add-on provides a semi-automatic, non-destructive workflow to rig a character's face, create facial expressions, and even do facial motion capture. Essentially, Face It can generate a full facial rig, including controllers, drivers, and shape keys for different characters. Earlier versions focused on the 52R kit blend shapes, but the latest Face It 2.3 expanded beyond those core 52 shapes, allowing unlimited custom expressions for more advanced facial setups. And now, it is pretty much plug and play. You set up some reference points on the 3D character, and the add-on guides you through creating all the necessary shape keys and rig controls. Animators also like it because it supports performance capture, so you can use your iPhone or other facial capture device and drive the rig in real time, which is great for previous or even final animations. Animation Layers, on the other hand, brings a much-needed layer-based animation workflow to Blender's animation system. So instead of juggling actions in the NLI editor in a clunky way, this add-on gives you a familiar layer UI right in the 3D viewport. So you can stack, mute, and blend animation layers similar to other software. For example, you could have a base walk cycle on one layer, and add a second layer on top to add a head turn and tweak them independently. The add-on makes it easy to create new layers, solo them, adjust their influence, and always see the final combined result while editing any given layer. It also provides tools to merge and bake layers down when you're done, including a smart bake, which preserves your keyframe distribution. And over the past couple of years, animation layers has seen major updates with a ton of new features. They introduce things like a UI panel in all animation editor, better integration with Blender's upcoming actions as slots feature, and even support for shape key animation layers, just to name a few things. Now we're gonna talk about the Ultimate Animators Bundle, which is actually a collection of five add-ons packaged as an animator's toolkit. You will get graph kit, delete static channels, key selected objects, anim copy, and keys, each one targeting a different pain point in the animation process. First of all, GraphKit gives you a suite of 14 tools for the graph editor. Things like quickly selecting keyframes, toggling visibility of F-curve channels, and generally making F-curve editing more precise and convenient. The second add-on, called the latest static channels, does exactly that. It finds and removes any animation channels that don't actually change, so your graph and dope sheets stay clean. The third add-on called Key Selected Objects is a simple UI that lets you keyframe all currently selected objects, and you can do that all at once, without hitting or choosing options repeatedly. On the other hand, Anim Copy lets you copy the animation data, including timing and easing, from one object and paste it to many other objects, and you can even transfer F-curves between different actions, which makes working with Blender's new action slots much easier. The last add-on in the bundle is called Keys, which allows you to manipulate multiple keyframes simultaneously right from the panel, scaling a bunch of keys, shifting them, etc., without getting into the graph or dope sheet one by one. Now we're gonna talk about X-Muscle System, which brings muscle and tissue simulation into Blender. It is actually an advanced add-on that lets you create muscle objects, attach them to your rig, and simulate how they deform and jiggle under the skin for X-Ray realism. The system is physics-based, as you might expect, meaning it accounts for volume preservation, in addition to muscle bulge and squash naturally, so you can simulate fat and skin sliding as well. Essentially, you build muscles for your character, like biceps, quads, etc., and the add-on will handle how these muscles deform when the character moves, making the skin on top deform more believably. And the good thing, it integrates nicely with Blender's existing tools, 
So you can still use shape keys, armature modifiers, and it works with rings from Rigify, All Rig Pro, Blend Rig, and others out of the box. The add-on provides a ton of features, like flexor versus extensor muscle types, automatic weight painting, and attachment of muscles to bones. In addition to a muscle pinning manager for fixing endpoints, and even bendy muscle segments with mirroring, so you can easily make symmetry of muscles on both sides of the character, in addition to other things. And by the way, the add-on recently got a major update. It was basically rewritten from scratch, in addition to having a minor version called the Kaiju Edition, by supporting larger creature rigs and an anatomy bundle with remastered skeleton models, like human, cat, dog, dinosaur, etc. And the surprising thing, this add-on even got an epic mega grant, which speaks volumes about the ambition and quality of the project. The next add-on is called Ghost Tool, which is a great add-on for animators because it provides onion skinning in 3D. As you may know, in traditional animation, onion skinning lets you see faint ghosts of previous and next frames to plan your in-betweens. So the add-on brings that concept to your Blender viewport and essentially, it can create static ghost meshes at specific frames of your animation. This tool is lightweight and focused, meaning it doesn't try to do everything, but when it comes to onion skinning, it does it really well. Another add-on that dropped recently is called Real Motion Pro. In practice, it feels like having an entire motion capture library and retargeting suite right inside Blender. It comes with 450 plus built-in animations and even lets you integrate 1700 plus motion capture animations, I mean integrate it into your library, which you can retarget onto your characters with just a couple of clicks. One of the coolest things that you can do is tweak and blend animations directly in the 3D viewport, adjust timing, and revise or smooth motions on the fly, without always diving into the graph editor or the NLA editor. And it supports popular rig systems like AutoRig Pro, Rigify, Mixamo, and DAS, so you can drop any character and start applying moves immediately. In a similar vein, we have AutoRig Pro AZ Animations, which is like a plug-and-play library of creature rigs and animations for AutoRig Pro, which is the number one add-on for rigging. This isn't a standalone add-on, but rather an expansion that adds 60 fully rigged animations, including a horse, dog, bird, T-Rex, etc., each one with a ready-made locomotion animation. Basically, you're dropping a rig preset, and you've instantly got a creature with a walk or run cycle that you can apply with your own model. And I think this can be a huge time saver, because you will spend less energy setting up complex rigs, and more time actually animating or refining the motion. With a more specific animation add-on, we have ShapeKey Pro, which is all about making shape keys less of a headache. So, if you've ever struggled with Blender's default shape key panel, this add-on comes as a relief, simply because it gives you a ton of quality of life tools for shape key management all in one place. You can, for example, reorder shape keys, and you can do that directly, without having to spam the move up and down arrows 50 times. You can also duplicate and mirror shape keys, invert them, and even blend shape keys with specific vertex groups for more localized effects. It also introduces global sliders to control multiple shaped keys at once in addition to one-click toggles to lock or mute all shaped keys when needed. One particularly neat feature is applied to bases, which can bake a shape key deformation into the base mesh. This is super useful for cleaning up or resetting shapes. The overall goal is to let you as an animator focus on animating instead of wrestling with shape key logistics. Still with shape keys. Shape Key Smoother does exactly what its name suggests. It helps you smooth out shape keys to get nice, clean deformations. In a casual sense, it is like a shrink wrap for bumpy shape keys. You rough in facial expressions or muscle bulge and use this tool to even out the lump while preserving the original volume. As you may know, the native tools often shrink or distort the mesh, but this add-on is designed to keep the overall shape and volume intact, and I think this is the main selling point. The workflow is straightforward. You select the area around the shape key deformation and apply the smoother, and it relaxes the vertices for you. It is super useful for facial rigs or any detailed shape keys where you want a natural transition, like smoothing a wrinkle or a cheek buff. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about Simply Trails, which is a fun one. It lets you easily add trail effects to any moving object, 
like light streaks, motion trails, swords, guns, or anything, without manually animating a thing. It is basically a geometry nodes powered asset that you can drag and drop onto any object. And voila, as you move objects, it leaves behind a beautiful fading trail. You can use it on meshes or curves, and it will ghost the motion of the entire object, or even the deformation of the mesh. The trails it creates are highly customizable. For instance, you can make them thick to thin, and even apply a word space to object local wind to give them a wavy dynamic behavior. This means you can add things like wind turbulence to get a ribbon-like flutter, or momentum and follow through so the trail behaves in a physically believable way. And there you have it guys. If you like these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.